Well, I couldn't believe that I got it done. The titles, it's, it's awesome, uh, big fights, but the small things I remember, like uh, my brother on the bicycle next to me, making me do all this, a lot of the stuff that I still do today. Sprint paths is something that he introduced to me. So I'm still doing it today. Yeah, I did everything he said. So he trained Muay Thai the year before me, got me into it. When my brother and I won our kickboxing uh, championships, he beat everyone in his bracket. I knocked out everyone in my bracket from that moment. It's like I knew this is my life. I'm, I'm, this is this is what I'm doing. And I remember us riding back home in the bus with our gold medals, right? And I was super proud. So you somebody, right? So he told me exactly that. Ole, you're nobody till you're somebody. And you're never gonna get this world title shot. You're never gonna get no European title shot because you're nobody. And the only way we can do it is we offer you to fight for free. And uh, stingy promoters around the world will take it. So that's how I got my European title. I, I fought for free. And the same thing with my world title in the States. I fought for free. No corner man, just went over there alone. Yeah. There was one Danish fighter who was fighting professional, Dennis Kupke. He came back from Thailand when he was 19. And uh, yeah, we had a Thai coach in Copenhagen. So. I told him I wanted to go to Thailand. I, I really loved it there. It was like nothing but rice fields and Muay Thai and swimming in the rivers and that's all we did. It was Muay Thai all the way and then everybody was watching, the new thing was happening. This, my brother was ordering these VHS videotapes from from Russia, from Brazil, it was Brazil was like Vale Tudo, and in Japan it was uh, Shudo, and in Russia it was just, again, yeah, just there was all kinds of crazy fights that he would order, and then before the UFC there was extreme fighting championships, so we were watching all these fights, and it was popping up in small gyms in, in Copenhagen, so that's how I ended up training with, uh, well, his name is Otto, uh, like they call him the godfather of the Danish MMA. Kastra from Sweden, from Rumble of the Kings. Out of the blue, I didn't know him. He just messaged me. He saw I was doing MMA and uh, he said uh, there was an opportunity for me to fight with Genki Sudo in K1 Heroes. So I went there, I did okay. And uh, then they signed me to K1 Max. Back then, it was everybody's dream. Everybody wanted to go to Japan and fight on the big shows. To me, that was that was crazy, coming out in a huge arena, having them scream your name. I had like two screws in my jaw, like broke my nose like three or four times. I had knee surgery and my broken rib, broke my hand, uh, broke my ankle. And my last big one was like, uh, I broke my neck. And that was, uh, yeah. I still have a couple of fights after that.
clear, clear. Give me an action, bro. An action jab. I trapped a few of them because I wanted to see is it gold. I mean, but when you get up close, it's more like a yellow. It looks like it's gold from the back side of it. Go, go, stay on it, stay on it. I love that there's others out there that choose this path of life and, and want to go that extra mile and go through all that shh. That it can be. Give me a second. Give me a second. The seconds are there. On the stairs. It's a, it's a hard work. Okay, hands up and breathe. It's a difficult mission. We're on the way down. We're just walking and breathing. Let's go. I enjoy watching people get better. Come on, Thomas. Or helping them if there's something that I can help with to get them towards their goal. Survived. Eat your fucking vegetables. All the training, all the missions, going to the smallest fights, sitting on the back of the truck, driving through Thai countryside for first or second and third or fifth or tenth Muay Thai fight. You know, it's all these. It's almost better. You know, it's. It's a very much, uh, it's very much a, a big part of it. You know? It's not just the fights itself. It's, it's the whole ride.